Don, what's your assessment? That game was supposed to be Brooklyn, like probably the best way to describe it. It is. That's exactly it. And I, you know, I don't, I don't mind. You know, the word once the word work is in it, we had to work hard for that game today. You know, we, I suppose we met Wicklow, who were only back training a week when uh, we met him in the Q Cup earlier on in the season. Uh, we knew we were going to get a different different game today. That was top of the ground then inside Nabbistown. Here today, you know, heavy conditions. I thought we really fought hard for um, what we got there today, and that was the points leaving uh, Arklow. So we're happy with that. Yeah, probably um, a math and their man has taken the game too here. Um, I suppose a great difference, as you mentioned there, in the service between Abbottstown and here. Yeah, you you know, a huge difference. But what do you expect, you know, 26th of January, that's... Uh, you know, it's the time of the year. This is what you're going. This is what you're going to run into all over the country. You know, um, but you know, Wicklow, Wicklow aren't a bad team. They came up out of their, their own league last year um, for a reason. They're here. They're competitive. You know, you can see there the other results today. Mead and Offaly, not much in it. This is a competitive division, and any team that's going to get points in it, they'll earn it. What did you say to the lads at half time? Because it seemed to take you a long time to get into the game. I think it was maybe 10 or 12 minutes before you really sort of got it in the full swing. Yeah, I suppose like uh, Wicklow had a bit of a roadblock up there with their two wing forwards, you know, dropping deep. And uh, we just had to stick to our shape and don't let them dictate, uh, you know, the way the game is going to be played. So we just revisited what we're doing in training, the shape we're taking up, the way we want the ball played. We kind of got on top for 16, 17 minutes and scored eight points to one. Would that be... That'd yeah, right. you're, you're on eight points unanswered after the, yeah. the restart. So that's, you know, that was a good time. Once we got our shape together and, uh, you know, our boys have a good fitness base in now this year as well, um, which probably told on the heavy ground, you know, we're able to stay going. Um, so, you know, positives, things to work on, but once to learn, once to learn from what happened in the first half, that'll be uh, us doing our job as a management team. Yeah. Well, uh, Darren, do you think they may be trying to play that top of the ground horror and conditions that didn't really suit it? Yeah, well, pr probably a bit. You know, John, we're, we're training above in good conditions as well in uh, in Jordanstown. You know, good solid fields. So, you know, what you're what you know what you're training at on different surfaces. But we have to learn how to adapt. You know, there's going to be there's going to be different conditions. We could have a fall of snow, and you're coming back to a heavier pitch. Um, again, you know, when we go up to Loch Eel, I know it's always a good surface there. So um, we're looking forward to it. What was the squad holding up injury wise? Obviously, there's a few boys still out injured, like uh, Kieran Clark and, and Conor McCallum. What's the latest in those boys? Yeah, Conor is just back there now, and Kieran's really getting through his rehab well. He's um, he's after coming a lot. Um, he's back on the field this week, so um, you know we've Conal Cunning, uh, Keelan Lai sick at the moment, so we, we have options coming. But the guys that are there are, are working hard. There'll be a few lads disappointed they didn't get to the field today, but they'll get their chance too. Do you feel maybe the first half especially would be a, a good uh, warning for next week's game against Mayo? I suppose that at this level you can't take anything for granted and I suppose teams like Wicklow and, and Mayo will see on them as a big scalp. Oh they will, they will. But you know, we, uh, we'll be treating them with respect, we'll be training hard for them this week and we'll be putting out a team that, uh, that that's going to be really competitive and, we ex and we're playing in our own home patch next week and whoever comes in uh, we're going to make it really difficult for them.